cap to give mom a chance to get off the eggs. Meet the newest members of the Burrowing Owl Conservation Society, tiny babies born this week. We don't want to count our burrowing owls before they're hatched. <laughs> The species is facing extinction in the wild in BC, but this group is working to change that. So this time of year, we've released um, all of the babies that, that uh, the owls had last year in captivity out into the wild, and they're starting to make their own nests and have their own young. The babies live in specialized burrows, then as they grow, are given free range of the enclosure to stretch their wings. We're monitoring the amount of food that we're giving them and making sure that, uh, that the parents have enough food to, to give to the babies. And then at about six weeks, the young are feeding themselves and they're flying around uh, fairly independently. Approximately 10 have hatched so far and they hope another 15 to 20 will follow. We'll keep them over winter and next spring, then we release them into the wild and they'll migrate and some of them come back and have babies in the wild. If you come across a burrow in the wild, steer clear. You could accidentally spook the owls or their babies. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Chelsea Powery.